Hello everyone, I'm Deluxe and Victor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the stiffness of an element. So in this equation, applied force on a structure is equal to stiffness of an element into displacement. So we have to find all these to analyze the structure. So applied force is force matrix and stiffness matrix and displacement matrix. So in this video I'm going to show you how to find the stiffness matrix. There is an equation developed by the engineers applied force on a structure which is equal to stiffness of an element into displacement. So by using this we, have, we can find the stiffness matrix. So before going to, into the stiffness matrix we have to know some angle stuff. So this is called x origin and it, it will be horizontally 0 degree or 180 degree. In there, in case if there is a frame which is 90 degree, in that case we have to find this angle and the angle have to be calculated from the x origin also it have to be clockwise from the x origin. Right. So it will be 270 degrees. In case if the frame below in this shape and the angle will be calculated from the x origin also in a clockwise direction so it will be 90 degrees in case if the frame is on this shape and the angle have to be calculated from the x origin also from the clockwise direction so if this is 45 degrees so the angle will be 360 minus 45 it will be 315 degrees so I'm going to show you for this particular frame finding the stiffness of the beam basically for the BC I'm going to show you how to find the stiffness of this particular frame particular element so for that I have to find the stiffness of this element this element this element also this element and from that I have to choose the stiffness which is going to apply on BC and combine together so I'm going to find the stiffness each element by element so I'm going to take element AB I'm going to take element BC each element separate and then I'm going to find the stiffness and then I'm going to join combine all the stiffness which is related to BC and then finding the final stiffness uh, stiffness matrix of the element BC so for the element AB I'm going to find the stiffness matrix in the beginning so for that case see if you see this as an element AB and this is the X origin so the element AB will be 270 degrees from the origin in clockwise right so in that case we have to find the cos 270 degree and sine 270 degree cos 270 will be 0 sine 270 will be minus 1 so in this case we use C and S in the matrix analysis so cos is we consider as C and sine angle we consider it as s in the matrix analysis so c will be zero so obviously cos 270 will be zero and s will be minus one so cs will be zero and then we saw the equation earlier in this equation we have to substitute the values of c and s see if you see for the angle for the element a b we found that it will be 270 degrees from the origin clockwise so cos 270 will be 0 
and sin 270 will be minus 1. So we have we are going to substitute c is equal to 0 and s is equal to minus 1 in this particular equation. So c is equal to 0 means this will be 0 and s squared b. So s is equal to minus 1. So b and c s is 0 into minus 1 0. So this is going to be 0 and this is minus s d. So we are going to substitute minus 1 for the s in here. So it is going to be d. So here b 0 d such like that 0 because c s is 0 here c is 0 so this is going to be 0 s squared is 1 so a and c is 0 so here b 0 d you see b 0 d here c s is 0 and c is 0 s is minus 1 so a and here is 0 so 0 a 0 right so such like that we are going to substitute s is equal to minus 1 and z is, c is equal to 0 in this equation so if you see this is e and this is f right we so for the rest c and s we are going to substitute and find the value so it will be like this while we substitute in that equation the equ the matrix will be like this for that element one right and then we consider it as an element one so stiffness of an element k1 equal to this matrix right so i'm going to put one for this whole matrix right this thing i'm going to explain later so this is the matrix for frame a b this element a b i found the matrix right such like that i have to find the matrix for this element b c in that case the b c will be here that's the x bar and origin x is here so the angle will be 0 180 see the angle will be 0 180 so c is equal to cos 0 that is equal to 1 s is equal to sin 0 that is 0 so c s is 0 such how we did in the earlier element we have to substitute c and s value in this equation right c is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 so how if we substitute c is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 this will be a this will be 0 this will be 0 such like that we have to substitute for the whole part of this matrix so we will find the matrix such like that right a 0 0 and then this is an element 2 so i'm going to put uh, name it as 2 in order to at the end we need to combine together so for the easiness I'm going to put element 2 right if we come to the other element CD that is down right so for that the origin will be on this direction and the angle will be 90 degrees down see the origin is here and the x bar is 90 degrees so cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 cs will be 0 so we have to substitute in that particular equation such like earlier c is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 in that particular equation c is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 so if we substitute we will get the matrix like this right this is the another part in this particular element is the next one we have to find the matrix for this particular element for that the origin will be here x bar the clockwise if we mention it will be all the way up there 
the angle is 45 so the angle will be 360 minus 45 315 degrees see if you see the origin is here and the, this angle is 45 but we have to do clockwise all the way here so 360 minus 45 315 degrees then we have to find the c value it will be cos 350 1 over root 2 sin value is equal to minus 1 over root 2 also in this is a pin joint and the there will be only the axial force inside right in this particular case so in here the e d b all are zero right b e f d all are zero as it's have only the axial force so as we substitute as earlier like that c is equal to 1 over 2 s is equal to minus 1 over 2 and b e f d all zero in that particular earlier equation we will get the matrix like this right so we now we found the matrix for each element a b b c c d a c but now we have to find the matrix for b c the thing is a b stiffness also will be here c d stiffness also will be here AC stiffness also will be here and the BC stiffness also will be here so what we have to do is combine the stiffness which are related to BC right so in this first element we find the stiffness of AB and the second element we find the stiffness of BC in third we found the stiffness of CD at last we found the stiffness of AC while at the end we have to find the stiffness of BC so for that we have to add all the stiffness which are related to BC for example in this part this is AB AB stiffness so we consider this box as AA this box as AB, this box as BA, this box as BB. So this is the one which fully involved with that BC element. So we choose this one. The second one, this is a BC element. In this element, the whole BC element will be subjected to that BC. So the whole matrix have to be added and the third one this CD structure we consider this box as CC this box CD DC DD so this is the one fully involved with the BC so this is going to be CC so like we have to choose this particular box it might be a bit confusing but if you look in that if you that point of view like this is the CD structure and which is fully involved with BC so this is CC this is CD this is DC and this DD so this will be the one which is stiffness which will be involved in BC so we have to choose this box right in the other one that AC one this will be AA AC CA and CC so this is the one fully in with this right so we are going to choose this one at the end we have to add all the ones which we choose we chose this one in that one and here we chose the whole matrix in the element C CD we chose the first box matrix in the element AC we chose this matrix we have to add all together 
as a combined and that will be the matrix for B C right so I'll explain again how to choose the matrix we already find the matrix for A B B C C D and A C so the A B matrix first box in that four box first box I consider it as A B A A and then the second one I consider it as A B third one I consider it as B A the fourth one I consider it as B B so I'm going to choose B B and the second element B C matrix the whole B C matrix going to be included because that's fully in, involved with this PC structure right and the element CD if you see the first one is going to be CC the second one will be CD third one will be DC fourth one will be DD that fourth corner uh, this is for understanding it easily I'm telling you so we're going to choose the first one that is CC that is the one which will be connected to that element BC such like that AC element if you see the first one will be AA the second will be AC third one will be CA the fourth one will be CC so I'm, I choose the fourth one CC see For, at last I'm going to add all the chosen ones I'm going to add this with all of this with this with the element 4 we, we use the same matrix uh, addition uh, how we use in the mathematics so in this case if we see the first box right in this box we have to see where I chose it. in here the first box is chosen in here only the last box so in here the whole matrix is choosed so a2 here b3 here nothing it's here so at the final addition a2 plus b3 okay so this is just the matrix addition and then this is zero here also zero so there is nothing going to be here zero here minus d3 so at the end it's going to be minus d3 so such like that we are going to add the matrix together and get the final stiffness of the element so for the b element we found the stiffness matrix thank you so much